Hi, what's up? We're playing another playthrough of Breath of the Wild. I kind of messed that up, but who cares? Um, we're doing part three. I think because these still have to be, um, they can't be over an hour long. So I think we're going to try and get to Hateno Village, um, unlock the camera find a lost memory, and then go back to Impa, get the champion's tunic. Hopefully that will take us under an hour. And remember, these are snack videos. So when you're watching this, grab a yummy, yummy snack. Today, I have a nice glass of milk because I'm thirsty. And my water bottle's in my car, so I got milk instead. Don't judge me. <laughs> Not that you would, but just putting it out there. And I have some nice homemade molasses cookies that my grandmother made. So, yeah, I'm I'm ready to go. I don't know about you, but if you aren't, pause, pause this video, grab a snack, and you know, comment down below what your snack is. That's what we do here, guys. We comment down below what our snacks are. And we always eat a snack every time. Like, I was so hungry earlier because I was recording an Animal Crossing video right before this. I'm like, no, you're recording a Breath of the Wild video right after this. You have to save your snack till then. And I did. Of course, I did have supper because the Animal Crossing video took me so long. Like, probably two hours and I'm still not done. Don't worry, it won't be that long. Most of it is going to be a speed build, but... Yeah. <laughs> um let's get into this. Mm, I'm going to eat now. Oh, that's so good. And when I bite into it and I take a big bite, it feels like I'm biting cloud. I don't know, but I don't even know what like biting into a cloud taste tastes or feels like, but feels soft and like I what I think a biting a cloud would be like. A nice big part of cloud. And this hand as my weapon is disgusting because it's moving. I'm gonna change that. go. So we're gonna head on over to Hateno a village. Knife. Where's my horse? Where's my horse? Dude, where is one horse Bob? I want to know where one horse Bob is. He is the precious meme. We cannot lose the precious meme. I wish we could jump over her. Yeah, we don't need directions, Joe. We've played this before. Hi. No. Oh, wait. I just realized this is my <laughs> Guys, I just realized this is my personal profile. Oh shoot. <laughs> 
I literally, I literally just realized that. Wow, oh, that must have sounded disgusting. That was the glass rubbing on my mic. Just sorry. Sorry about that. I didn't realize my mic was that close. past the first divine beast, so he said he would get me there, but... Oh. I just realized I was talking to myself. The mic wasn't close enough to pick up my voice, but I was still talking. Because normally I just have it right there no matter what, but I moved it to take a drink. Okay, so I found out we were playing on my personal profile. So I went back and made sure my brother would never know, because if you watched the last video... All my saved data on my personal fo profile got deleted. Um, I was past the Divine Beast, and my brother said he would get me there. And, like, because he can do the game. He can do... He can go pretty fast on the game. You know? So. He said he would do it for me. And, um, he got all the way to Kakariko Village because, um, he works and he's only off two days a week. And, uh, on his last day off last week, he got me to Kakariko Village. Tomorrow, I'm gonna see if he can get me to just to beat the Divine Beast for me. Just, because I just don't want to go through all that again. Not on my personal profile. My one horse Bob is being a bad horse. So, we're just gonna call him. Are you seriously stuck? I'm Move! Good horse. We're going to the shrine. Here's a shrine. I'm honestly just gonna open it. In a few like videos, I think after we beat the divine beast, I'll just like come back and get a bunch of shrines, do a bunch of sh side quests I missed, and I think we'll just kind of do that. Like, throughout the entire game. Every time, like, I beat a Divine Beast. And then before I go beat Ganon, we'll do a few other things. Okay, I'm just checking the map. Uh, Hateno Village is over here. So we need to go back down by the stables. I'll go through here. And I'll find our way there. So. Giddy up, horsey. My horse won't run fast, I'm wondering why. Uh, are you hungry, one horse Bob? Okay. I'm sure I have food for you. Oh look, here's some apples. Is he seriously? Oh, yeah, he's tur- Why do all that, though? That's so dumb. Just back up. Mm -hmm. 
I'm sitting here eating. I hope you're sitting there eating. And I'm just watching one horse Bob stand there eating. You know, we're all eating. <laughs> well, I mean, you better be eating, but. Oh, I guess he just won't run fast inside the village. That's weird. Oh god, whenever that music comes on, I think I've like, there's a guardian or something. I get so nervous. I know we could just travel to the shrine. I'm just going this way and just so I don't have to go to the stable and grab one horse bob again. Oh, grow up. Grow up, one horse bob. Oh, that was cool. Yeah. That this music legit makes me think there's a guardian though. Oh great, it's raining now. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to fight Choo Choo's on a horse though. Normally I take them out in one swing, but like... <whistles> ah, we yeah. achieved it. That's literally all I wanted right now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on. Don't freak out on me now, one horse bob. Oh, a lot of guardians. Oh, Fort Hateno. We're there already, yay. Oh, thank gosh. Ooh, what's this? I haven't seen this before. But legit, I didn't come in Hateno the normal way when I played through my personal profile, so like, yeah. Cool, sir. Don't really care. I can go in them.
I'm taking a picture of this. This couch. I feel like this might be like a shrine couch or something. Mm. Ah. I wish I could do more, yeah. but my editing software, if you watched huh. the second video again, is terrible. Huh. <laughs> I think I literally just... <laughs> so the Tano's... Now we can travel to that shrine, so we can travel to the village. No. Now we go go find Pura. And she's over there. She's, um, yeah. But first I think I want to stay at an inn. Where's the inn? Is this oh. the inn? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a general story thing? general store. Oh. I just want an inn. Oh wait, no. I think you can sleep in other people's beds. You could do that in the other games. Why can't you do it in this, you know? So I just kind of need to find a house with a bed. Stay there. Nobody have oh yay. Oh, you can't sleep in their beds. Come on. Where's the inn then? Fine, I'll pay to go to sleep. That's crazy, but
Dude, do you ever sleep? Where's your bed? Oh. Oh. It's in here. I wanna sleep. Because it's raining. And the side quest, uh, the, like the little quest for the, um, for the thing. Um, you know, for, uh, Pura's lab, uh, requires fire and, you know, um, rain and water. And, you know, distinguishes, extinguishes, whatever it is. Basically, it, um, it takes out fire. Here is the inn. Oh, we're sleeping. Hallelujah. I haven't slept in a long time. I mean, of course I had 100 years oh. of sleep, but still. Cloud again is so much fun. Mm. I did. <laughs> mm, probably not. I only sleep. The only time I sleep in this game is if I need to do something at a certain time. I like sleep or sit by the campfire, pass by the time. But if it's raining, and I will normally find the nearest bed and sleep. So there's no more rain. So Pure's up there. She's up at the hill. You know what I decided? We're just kind of going to do the quest first and see what happens. It's right over here. any more weapons apparently I'm gonna eat for a second mm. once again biting into a cloud
really hope my torch doesn't burn. And like the or the flame run out because that does happen. Those torches that I lit like through the village, you don't actually have to light those. I just I did. Oh, you're from Laurelin Village. <laughs> but yeah, the flames that I lit down there that like went through the village, just so you know, you don't have to do those flames. Those torches, you, you honestly don't have to do every single torch. You can... Oh! I'm uh, just gonna continue what I was saying before I continue going. You don't have to do every single torch. You could really go from the furnace um, to let the other furnace, but you think what the flame would either run out or your thing would like, you know, oh no. Your weapon would burn. Unless it's a torch. In which case it will. Yeah. So, I just kind of like to go around him. Whatever torch I find is whatever torch I do. Kind of thing. I'm just trying to get all the torches. I'm just gonna run around here because there's a torch over there that I'm supposed to do. Oh, there's a torch right there? Cool. I love the sound it makes. Put it in like the little candle, not candle, but like torch thingy. Um, and you like stick your thing in it, it will like replenish your flame almost, and like you know, that fun stuff. I forget where do I go from here? Oh, I go up that way. Go up this way. Going up here. I love this blue flame though, it's so pretty. And the way it just kinda goes, and nobody's scared of it either. You know like when you have fire in Breath of the Wild, everybody's like, oh, fire. Or like, you know, they do that startled movement. I accidentally did that again. But they don't do that with the blue flame. It's just kinda nice, it's so calming. Like ocean, like ocean's a flame, you know? We'll call it that, except it's an ancient flame, but. Just the way Nintendo, like, oh, it's beautiful. Whoa! We did that before we even were supposed to, but. Oh, so it just basically just changes the dialogue. She's like, 
If you figured out how to do that without being told, you must have come out of the slumber of restoration in good shape. Well, actually, I just played the game before. You know, that's all I did, Pura. I'm gonna go with this one. Oh, we're still gonna read it. Okay. I'm gonna be off mic, just putting my uh, sweater on, so I have to take my headset off. I'll still be here though. Okay, see, these are all our memories, but, yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I just had to put my, just had to put my sweater on. It's really cold. Normally my room's nice and warm, but. We can ask. 
successor album. This um this one is by Hateno Village somewhere. Um yeah, not Hateno Village, Kakariko Village, but we're cutting it close to an hour, so I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna travel to Kakariko Village and then we should be I think we'll be done for now for this episode. Also, an update on the animated intro. It's coming along well. I'm starting to draw it. I'm doing it myself, which I'm kind of nervous about. But, um, yeah. And uh, it's coming along nicely. It's not gonna be like super animated, but like I'm trying my best. You know? Basically, I'm. Um, Basically, I'm just gonna, I'm taking a, it's a cart puzzle, whatever. Um, basically, I'm just gonna take a nice, basically, I'm just gonna, like, take a, draw a nice, like, rough draft of what I want, like, one part of it. Because, like, in ah. animation, it takes 60 things, you make a little change each time, and then, um, you know, it takes 64 drawings. Oh, oh wait. Yeah, it takes 64 drawings to, um, have for a s per second. But, like, um, I don't know how long this, how, I'm gonna, you know, um, that's not what I wanted to sum up, but, here. <laughs> um, I always like to sell to this lady in Kakariko Village. Oh. She's just so sweet. Her or Beetle. That's it. Unless I'm like in dire need of something. Anyway, um. Yeah. I like to do that. And then. I'm doing that. And it's coming along. I've got it ready. Almost. I'm also making a theme song. Written and, um. Produced by yours truly. And yeah. I'm not telling you what the intro is going to look like, what the theme is going to be. Um, I'll do, whenever it's done and all ready to go, I'll do a video with the intro and then I'll just kind of see. And then I'll just kind of be done there, just show you the intro with this theme song when it's ready. But yeah. So, you know, that's all coming along nicely. But thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. And what? goodbye. Out. What was that? I don't know. Just I'll take it off from and goodbye. <laughs>